fitting test chamber, Oracle HIT, and RECD measurements. Performing RECD, real ear to coupler difference, is key to ensuring an accurate coupler-based fitting. The RECD is performed in Otosuite using Oracle HIT and FreeFit. It is comprised of a coupler response and a real ear response. RECD values are calculated as the difference between the coupler response and the ear response. To begin, select Navigator from the toolbar. From the menu options on the left side, choose the RECD tab under the PMM module of Otosuite. To initialize the tab and connect to your Oracle FreeFit, click on Control Panel in the toolbar. The coupler response is stored on the FreeFit probe so that it is always available. The date of your stored coupler measurements for each probe is displayed under Coupler Response. Follow these steps to measure a new coupler response. In the control panel under RECD Type, use the drop-down arrow to select the type of HA coupler, such as HA1 or HA2, and acoustic coupling, such as TIP. If using a foam insert or mold when using the client's own ear mold. To begin your measurement, click on Coupler Response in the control panel. In this example, the HA2 coupler with TIP was selected. When using different coupler options such as HA1, you must remeasure the coupler response. You must also use the same RECD type for both ears. When coupler response is selected, the on-screen picture will provide an example of the appropriate coupling for the Oracle FreeFit probe and HIT coupler. The first demonstration shows the proper setup when preparing to measure the coupler response with the HA1 coupler with TIP. Attach the RECD transducer tube to the Oracle FreeFit probe and attach the foam tip to the tube. Twist the 2cc adapter onto the coupler microphone. Begin by rolling out the acoustic putty into a tube shape and wrap it around the foam insert tip. Create a tight seal with the acoustic putty by pressing it onto the HA1 adapter. Carefully line up the acoustic opening of the foam tip to the hole in the middle of the HA1 adapter. Check that the opening in the middle of the adapter is still clear of putty and the acoustic opening of the foam tip is clear. Snap the HA1 adapter onto the 2cc coupler. Place the coupler microphone in the microphone port, furthest from the Oracle HIT speaker. Close the Oracle HIT lid to measure the coupler response. The second demonstration shows the proper setup when preparing to measure the coupler response with the HA2 coupler with TIP. Attach the RECD transducer tube to the Oracle Free Fit probe. Twist the 2cc adapter onto the coupler microphone. Connect the white tip of the RECD transducer tube into the black tubing of the HA2 coupler. Snap the HA2 adapter onto the 2CC coupler. Place the coupler microphone in the microphone port closest to the Oracle HIT speaker. Close the Oracle HIT lid to measure the coupler response. Click the Measure Right button to complete the right probe coupler response. When the measurement is finished, repeat the appropriate setup for the other side. Click the Measure Left button. Click OK to close the dialog box. Remove the RECD coupling from the HA coupler and remove the FreeFit probe from the Oracle HIT test chamber. You will now see the updated coupler response in the control panel showing the date of measurement. The other required measurement for RECD is to obtain the ear response. Attach probe tubes to the free fit probes. Position the probe tubes in the proper position for probe tube calibration. Calibrate the probe tubes by pressing the start button in the probe tube calibration dialog box. Follow the instructions in the Guidance section of the control panel to carry out the ear response. Counsel the client on what to expect during the procedure and perform otoscopy to confirm the ear canals are clear. 
Place the free fit collar around the client's shoulders. Remove the probe tube housing from the collar and place over the client's ears. Place the probe tube into the client's ear canal and verify proper placement via otoscopy or probe tube assistant. Connect the foam insert tips or client's ear molds to the RECD transducer tubes and place into the ear canal, being careful not to move the position of the probe tubes. In the toolbar, select left, right, or both ears. If you are only measuring one RECD, you may check the box, Apply RECD to both ears. Click the Ear Response button in the control panel to begin the measurement. Alternatively, you can briefly press the power button on the Oracle FreeFit collar to start the measurement remotely. When the ear response is complete, Otosuite will calculate the RECD and populate the graphs on the screen. The dashed line in the top graph is the coupler response. The solid line is the ear response. The RECD is only displayed in the bottom graph after the ear response and coupler response have been measured. The RECD is calculated as ear response minus coupler response. RECD values are calculated and displayed graphically for one-third octave frequencies. The measured RECD table below the graphs displays the RECD values for the frequencies from 125 to 8000 Hz. To enter manual RECD values, select the pencil icon to the right of the measured RECD table. The legend table will show measurements completed and overlays allow the view of a predicted or custom RECD. Finally, you can view a history of the RECDs previously obtained for a client by clicking measurement above the toolbar and selecting Browse Previous Measured RECD Data. The measured RECD data can now be used for coupler-based fitting with the Oracle HIT test chamber.